So this Saturday, Clarissa Shields vs Savannah Marshall is going down. Now as many of you already know, this is not the first time these two have fought. They faced each other once before in an amateur bout, with Marshall getting the decision win on the scorecards. So they share some history, and they're set to make history too, with this being the first ever all-female UK boxing card. So we're now seeing a new light shone on women's boxing. But does this change anything though? Women's boxing has been around for a good while. They attempted to popularise it before in the 90s. I remember Christy Martin, Layla Ali, Anne Wolfe, Holly Holm, Lucia Riker, the list goes on. Women's boxing is nothing new, but why is it taking till now to gain momentum and popularity? I just don't know if people have been eager to buy pay-per-views headlined by female boxers, but they may be soon. Boxing wants to expand its audience. It's actually not that popular a sport compared to all those team sports like football, basketball, tennis, cricket, rugby and so on. Bringing in a female audience is one thing, but boxing wants and needs the casual fans to make up the numbers. Exciting fights and intense rivalries are what get people going and Shields vs Marshall may just tick all the right boxes. Women's boxing also needs star power. Look at how Ronda Rousey popularised women's MMA. Dana White, when asked if females will ever compete in the UFC, said Never. Never. <laughs> that was back in 2011. And a year later, he signed Ronda Rousey. And since that time, the women's division in the UFC has given us some great rivalries and some epic fights. So we could see the same kind of thing happen in boxing. However, though, I still think combat sports will always be a man's game. For the same reason, the heavyweight champion of the world is considered the king of the hill. The guy who in theory is the baddest man on the planet and can beat them all. Of course it's the lighter weights where you usually see the great skill, speed and work rate. Guys like Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, Lamachenko, Terence Crawford etc. Anyways, I think Shields has the edge. She only narrowly lost in their amateur bout. I think her aggression, her hand speed, general skills should see her through as long as she boxes with her brain and doesn't get over eager or careless because Marshall can box with a long reach height and heavy hands she could be a problem as long as she sticks to a game plan she may be able to break Clarissa Shields down let us know your thoughts in the comments